Okay, maybe here we go. Okay, Jim Riley, Joe Zelig, Harry Race, Bernard, La Chance, DJ Day, Perlita, Quinn Juan, Jones, um, 1961 Amphibious Man, Ellery's, GPS Robo, Inklet Knight, Gordon, Harry 138, um, Ethan Anderson, Don Wiley, who else there? Uh, Blood Scripts, MS 13, so on and so forth. Through your little recording, Bernard, you said it's yours. Okay, you get it. But again, Julita, Dave, you guys, basically, Harry, uh, oh, Anklet, Robo Knight, admit to murdering police officers and military service members and so on and so forth. Okay? In a sense. Basically, you guys boast about it, which isn't uncommon about your gangster culture. Here is the kicker now, Brian and everyone. Now, you, now you have names associated to several locations in the, in the United States, okay, for homicides. So, get the crime statistics of, like, say, Denver or Aurora or San Diego or states, right? The number of statistical, like, the number of homicides committed in that state and then tie it to that name like hmm, let's see Harry Jade race for Colorado or you know Joe Zillig for Michigan Bernard Lachance for Lancaster you know Gordon so on and so forth right but if you get the crime statistics for San Diego tie it to the people there on the list and then crime statistics for Denver, Colorado, tie it to the names on the list like DJ Day, Polito, Quinn, one. Now you have a number. So now every event, every murder, homicide, rape, kidnapping, whatever, the crime statistics from this point on have an association and origin to you people. Since you want to own it so bad, you want it that bad, Bernard. So you basically announce to the world through your little micro recording that you say nobody else can hear, but they can hear and pick up that you're a dipshit, Bernard. So, Bernard, you answer your own question with Perlita, Quinwan, and DJ Dave, and Harry, Joe, Ellery, and so forth. You are the murderers, rapists, thieves, because of how you approach the angle and your attitude towards crime and authority figures. Your attitudes and behavior do that. So, Karen, Perlita, whoever, Don, as you sing your chant, you know that whole thing? It means you're murderers, okay? Killers. And those guys helped you because you probably slept with those idiots or whatever. I don't know. Don't care. But now you guys want to be all that you think that makes you famous and big. Okay. But you're now an exposed crime unit trying to become good, which will never happen. So, Perlita, your view, your theory with Joe about Jehovah Witness, you actually became. Um, and so, quit complaining because you're a dipshit. And you went to war and you blame people who really did nothing to you because you basically want them killed so you can take over a space of property that doesn't belong to you. I don't care about the property. I'm trying to prove something else. You're fucking idiots. That you caused massacres. And that's the type of people we don't want on computers. We want to get rid of those. So, you think you're all big and badass, Brilita. We let you and your friends. But that's why you look jacked up and fucked up because you are. So, it looks like the device worked. It did not backfire. It worked very well. Idiots who stole from other people and then tried to use it. They don't know what they're doing. And uh, Perlita threw fit because she's not the most beautiful being in the world. But Perlita, if you stayed out of other people's business and Bernard and Ellery and Robo Knight and so on and so forth, Joe, you wouldn't have a problem. Because when it worked, guess what? It was a different attitude than now. You guys want the gangster shit? I don't. Because there's a better way. But guess what? That probably doesn't exist anymore. Because guess what? Like I said, the sidewalk chuck kids pretty much proved who the dipshits of the earth are. And you guys still live in denial about it, Joe. You're a dipshit, Joe, with that group of men. And you always have. Because you've always wanted to think with your penis stuck in somebody's ass. And that's the reflection of the earth. Because you're a dumb faggot, dude. Your relatives don't want to sleep with you, Joe. Harry, they don't. They just don't want to do it, Ellery. But you guys seem to force it. And uh, guess what? It didn't have a good result. 